All right, to start this out, this is the Constant Kang Lineage OS 16 for the Raspberry Pi 4. Just go through here, download it. I saved it to my desktop. It was easier to access this way. Next thing you'll have to do is download the APK from Carlink. Well, it's Carlink it slash autokit dot APK and you just download it from here and we're gonna save that to a USB drive once that was downloaded I formatted the SD card using disk part uh, then the list disk select the disk of the SD card I cleaned the disk and once it cleans the disk I created a primary partition with create partition primary and then format quick was the next command I did to format the disk after that I opened Bolania, Bolena etcher selected the lineage OS image and flashed it to the drive I'll speed this process up for you Next, I assembled the Pi 4 to the official Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen with a case. I also put the SD card in. This is me booting up Lineage OS. It takes a little bit the first boot. Once it's booted up, it's going to ask you the date and time. I don't use Wi Fi to set this up, I just keep it off the internet. And uh, here's the USB drive listed with uh, the uh, Auto Kit. APK that you're going to need to install. From there I went into files, then the USB drive to install the APK. It's going to ask you to allow a whole bunch of permissions to it, that's fine. I'm not using Wi-Fi or the internet on this tablet whatsoever, I'm just using it for the CarPlay. Once that was done I booted right into it and I hooked the Carlin kit right to the Raspberry Pi. You're going to want to allow all these permissions. From there I hook up the iPhone cable to the iPhone. Of course uh, mixing up the USB as usual. I was right the first time. And it immediately pairs. choose music for now there's no music coming out due to the fact there's no speakers in the Raspberry Pi or a Bluetooth unit hooked to it it's just the phone connected via USB cable but if you hooked it to an aux cable at the moment it would work here's Waze working uh, tried to avoid it where I live but I'm just showing you guys the touch features on the Raspberry Pi with Waze Now here's just me showing a feature on the, the sliding action of how fast it actually keeps up with me tracking. Okay, now I got it plugged into my car and I'm about to plug the phone into the CarPlay. First I'm actually Bluetoothing the Raspberry Pi 4 to my car to pair it. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync. Now that I've paired the device, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 to my car, then I'm bringing the CarPlay to the dashboard right now. For your safety, 
Please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. The USB is probably the fastest way to do this. I was going to show you guys how to do text messages, but it's more of a privacy issue with other people. Now the songs immediately change from using the Raspberry Pi 4 versus the phone, which is nice, but if you end up picking up your phone to change things, that still works. But when you use it on Bluetooth, it's not as effective as you'll see here in a second. So I had to Bluetooth the iPhone to the Raspberry Pi 4 and to the Carlin kit. And when I did that, all these settings actually started working. Once it started to pair, it just pulls right up in seconds. But now the thing is, since I was adjusting it on the CarPlay versus the phone, I have open Spotify on my phone, so the song still changed in the background, but it's not changing on the display because I'm using the phone. It wants you to use the display versus the phone. But if I go back to the iTunes app versus Spotify, you could actually see that this starts to change here again too. And that's it. Thank you for watching.